We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We don't know anything more than that. We don't know if it was a commercial aircraft. 12 miles to the east of Denver is the shoot, a scene of a shooting. What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing. When you're discussing things as controversial as some of the things that we discuss here on this channel and elsewhere and that we think about on a regular basis, just by the nature of the thing, I mean, once you realize that you've been lied to since the beginning and that the whole thing is a facade, this political theater that we like to play where choose between left or right, red or blue, one or two, basically, do you want to get stabbed by the knife or shot by the gun? Um, once you've seen those for what they are, you can't unsee them. You can't take those shades off. So there is something that you will consider every day for the rest of your life. And when you discuss these things with people who perhaps haven't been previously exposed to these ideas or have a few times and just haven't gone on to look at them, then you're going to get the same gut instinctual reaction. Well, it would almost be instinctual if not for the fact that it has been placed there successfully over generations and generations of social conditioning. And the one question that you get reoccurring in a lot of these instances, especially when you're discussing something like the flat earth, is why does it matter? Why does it affect me if the earth is not the shape that we were told it was? And of course, if you're looking at it from a surface level, then you could kind of relate to that point of view, where it's like, yeah, why does it matter? The, sh the earth could be a uh, triangle, it could be a pyramid. Why does it affect my day-to-day -day life? But I feel like when you come with these kind of ideas or these kind of questions, it just shows that you're not thinking deeper than that. You're not considering the implications of this. I mean, they're huge. This is why I push Flat Earth over a whole bunch of other topics. I cover loads of topics on this channel, but I do talk a lot about Flat Earth because to wake people up to Flat Earth is a huge thing because it shows, or to the right mind, it shows without a doubt that there are not multiple conspiracies. There is not a multitude of conspiracies organized by all different kind, t kinds of people, at least when we're talking about uh, from the world standpoint. There is one conspiracy with multiple facets that has been controlling the world for a long period of time. And once you show people that, hey, the world is flat, everything's been a lie, they'll start to see that. And say that's not enough for you. Say you don't care about anything that's get going on in the world. You just want to get on with your life. You got a job. You got a wife. You got kids. You just want to get on with life. What does Flat Earth have to do with it? Well, think of your kids. Think about what happened to you. You put them through the education system that you also were a part of. Which is nothing but the indoctrination system. That is lying to you and continuing to push lies that they know are lies. The teachers don't. Of course. They were brought up in the same system. But they're lies. They're spreading lies. They're spreading garbage. The whole education system is part of the conspiracy. It's another facet of this conspiracy because they're teaching you proven lies. Facts. <laughs> Alternative facts, if you will. That are, of course, the mainstream view. So when you say flat earth doesn't matter, then you're saying, hey, it doesn't matter if they lied to my kids. It doesn't matter that they lied to me. It doesn't matter if they lied to my children's children. Because who cares, right? And say, hey, you know what? I don't care about my kids' education. In fact, I'm not going to have kids, and I don't care that I was lied to. Who cares about me, right? Well, what does that say about your media? That obviously push all of this space, push everything NASA does, push everything SpaceX do. They tell you, oh, look, an asteroid is coming. Oh, a comet's in the sky. Oh, look, this eclipse is happening. Oh, look, your media is a lie. And wait, if your education and your media is a lie, then surely there's some sort of connection between who's funding these two organizations. Oh, but education is a public thing. Is the government's funding that. Well, trace the roots back, you know. Have a look a little deeper. This is what Flat Earth is going to make you do on everything. Can you accept anything ever again that you were told as fact before checking if you know that you have been told a lie on this astronomical, <laughs> excuse the word for want of a better word, scale? 
Now put education, media, uh, politics aside, right? What does it do psychologically to believe in the heliocentric model? What does it do to your worldview, whether you consciously realize it or not? Whether it's just looming in your subconscious or you know that's the fact. What is it doing psychologically? Why is there so much chaos, confusion, depression in the world today? Well, your world is spinning. And I know that sounds like, oh yeah, of course the earth is spinning, but you're just putting two. No, I'm... People don't understand the power of language and the power of suggestion. Your earth is spinning. Your world is spinning in nothing, in a pocket of blackness. This is a kind of thought that will subconsciously cause a psychological devolution in people. Where nothing matters. It, intrinsically, nothing matters because everything came from nothing and nothing will be after this. And nothing is outside of this besides more spinning dead rocks. Dead, vacuous space where nothing can survive. It's all a system put in place to devalue you as a human being. To devalue what you represent in this world. Your impact in this world. Because we all have one. We all can have one if we choose to. I mean, we don't all have one. That's for sure. But we can all make one if we choose to. We just have to take those steps. And the first step is to think for yourself. Something that everyone thinks they do that a very small percentage of those actually do. If the world were to realize that the earth was flat... And this movement were to cross the tipping point, because in my opinion, there's only two directions for this movement to go. You're either going, we're, other, we're going to be snuffed out, they're going to drag us out, and we're going to do nothing. Until the point where people just go, hey, nothing's ever going to change, and the whole thing just fizzles out. Or we cross the tipping point. And the world wakes up. So this is why it's an exciting time to live. But this is also why we need to think of a plan. We need to put something together to actually make a change here. We've talked enough. There, there's so much information now about everything. No, we don't know everything, but we know enough. We know enough to now make a stand. We need to make an actual stand and do something. This activism is a great idea, but it needs to be taken to a, to a larger scale. And I, I'm, I'm doing some brainstorming to see what I can do. But we got to take it to the man now. <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been too many days in this war, man. We got to take the psychological warfare straight to them. And I don't mean by playing by their tactics. We got to do our own thing here. And we got to do it soon. Sorry for the rant. It's just the way I've been thinking, man. I got some good... Uh, videos on the way. I just thought I'd remind you that I'm still here. Um, but yeah, if someone asks you why does the flat earth matter, just tell them, look, man, think. Just think, man. And don't just think for four seconds, five seconds, and go, oh, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> why would it affect me? I'm just. Actually, have some time thinking. Use your mind. It's there. You know? It can be used. They just don't want you to use it. Red Flag Media, I am out.